Hey everyone, Tim here from CubicKing77.com here to do a video reviewing the uh, Sprint Touch with Jelly Bean leak on the Samsung Galaxy S3 from Sprint. This is called the LIF leaked build. It is a full Jelly Bean build. I do have a video showing how to install it. I will link to that in the description of the video. Otherwise though, very exciting. Um, I've been running this all night. Uh, I went out after I did the how-to install. I went out and hung out with people and been using it and it works great. So, uh, let's go ahead and do a quick review of it. Uh, first of all, I do want to mention I haven't found anything that does not work, so I'm actually interested to see if this is a full uh, build that will be official. We don't know for sure yet if it's official. I will update you on if it is or not, but right now it is just a leaked build. Otherwise, though, there are many new updates, obviously new Jelly Bean features. Uh, right away, you do have a new lock screen. And new, new, in a sense, uh, is basically the same but the only thing new about it is that you do have more icons down at the bottom. You have five instead of four, which is great. You can have another shortcut there. Very nice little feature there that they have added. Also, uh, you have an updated browser. You can go ahead and load that on up. You'll see you got back and forward there. You can try and load up QBKing77.com. It feels so weird to be able to say uh, that you can do that, but you can load on up, uh, load it up, check it out. Very awesome. So there it is there. You can open a new tab a new one or a incognito tab as well so that is the updated and new browser uh, otherwise though dialer is the same nothing new dialer wise the camera is pretty much the same nothing really new from the camera you can just take keep taking pictures and such go ahead and select the gallery and swipe through those images down here so the gallery looks a little bit different uh, than it did that's that's a little bit new so camera wise about the same you will notice it does have the Jelly Bean transition animations when I open up applications, so you'll see when I'm opening those up, it, uh, it's, it's very smooth. I did test MMS, and incoming and outgoing worked, so you, you will see there I do have an incoming and outgoing message. I will have to blur out the phone number, but you will see that that is uh, great and working awesome. You can press and hold the home button, and you've got your recent running apps list still. Swipe away uh, applications you don't want on there, very smooth. You can clear them all by pressing this trash can. You have Task Manager in the bottom left. And you also have a new shortcut, Google Now. So that is included in this Jelly Bean leak, which is great. You still do have S Voice though, but you still, you do have Google Now, which again, you can press and hold the home button and go to, or you can just go to this Google search bar and press on that. I can go ahead and do it from here. So load on up Google Now, lets me know how far away from home I am, lets me know when the Bears are playing next. Ah, uh, oh, the White Sox lost unfortunately to Tampa. I know my friend Kyle will be happy about that. Lets me know the weather where I'm at. We can go ahead and test out a voice command. What's the weather like in Tampa, Florida? It's 79 degrees and cloudy in Tampa. There you go. So 79 and cloudy in Tampa. Google now working great. Everything is smooth. Definitely a leaked build you're going to want to install just because it doesn't have any bugs. At least I haven't found any. I can make a um, an annotation if there are some found. But now updated is the uh, notification panel. So pull it down and you will see it is different as opposed to pulling it down and having them all stacked up. It kind of overlaps the icons there. That I think that's really cool. Pull it down. Um, icons up here. I believe they have mobile data you can't toggle anymore. There's a couple they got rid of and you can't swipe over anymore. So it's just fixed five icons for sync and screen rotation. I wouldn't use either screen rotation or sync. I wish they would have kept the mobile data um, one there. You will see I just got an email. You can pinch in and uh, minimize that, that notification. I do believe you should be able to. I don't know why it's not letting me. Okay, so for some reason it isn't letting me maximize or minimize this notification. I don't know if Maybe that's a bug, I don't know. It's not letting me, it should uh, let me minimize this, but someone fill me in if you get another notification that you can minimize or maximize if it's not letting you because it isn't letting me minimize this, it should. Here, I can actually test it with something else. I'm gonna take a screenshot. Home button and power button, take a screenshot, saves it, pull it down, and you will see it gives a quick preview of it. I should be able to minimize this preview and I can't. It's not letting me minimize it. When you get a picture message, it does the same thing. It shows a preview of the image. So, uh, but you will see this Gmail one is now smaller, how it should be. So I don't know why this two finger pinch uh, expand and contract is not working. Could be a bug. I don't know if they got rid of it on TouchWiz or whatnot. So 
definitely be sure to let me know if you get it working, if there's something that needs to be done because I can't get it to work. Um, so that's very unfortunate because that's actually a really cool feature on Jelly Bean that they do have. When you pull it down, you will see the screen dims in the background as you get further down. So that's just a little aesthetic feature there. You do have a quick uh, option to go into settings in your notification drawer. Uh, setting wise, nothing, you have blocking mode right there, which I believe you can disable incoming calls, notifications, and other things. So if you go into a meeting, you can turn on blocking mode so you don't have to worry about any of that. That's a little bit updated. Um, other than that though, you could have lock screen as a specific option, which is great because some people were confused. They used to have to go into security to change those lock screens. Now it has a specific lock screen option where you can change your screen lock to motion, face, face and voice pattern. So uh, overall nice, you can change the options with the shortcuts. So you can change all five of those shortcuts um, and other information on your lock screen. So that's a, a very nice little addition they made to make a lock screen just a separate thing. You have cloud as well. Um, you can personal data management through your Samsung account. I'm not gonna mess with that at all. Um, but yeah, you have your motion settings, all the basic ones. You have uh, about device, we can go ahead and check it out. Android version 4.1.1. Uh, build number down there you will see the last three digits lif so that would be the lif leaked build quickly tap on android version as most of you know press and hold on the android guy he got some uh, jelly beans that you can mess around with just a little uh, easter egg there but yeah that's really about it just uh, about everything i wanted to cover updated um app drawer wise as i said in my how to install it is a pre-rooted rom you still have google wall working it does include vpn client i'm not exactly sure what that is uh, someone can leave a comment, let everyone know what it is. You have a help uh, application widgets, all your basic widgets. Thankfully, they got the assistive light one. They did not get rid of that. I use that one quite often, so um, that one's actually very nice to have. The uh, You can change mono audio, negative colors, all the basic ones there, but that's really about it. All the new updated features from Jelly Bean. I have a, a video showing you cool things you can ask Google Now. So if you want to mess around with and play with Google Now, I have a video showing you different things you can ask. So be sure to check that out. I will link to it. There's also various things that you can mess with to improve upon this ROM with uh, Sprint Connections Optimizer along with pressing the home button responsiveness. I will link to uh, where you can see those videos. So be sure to watch those videos to help improve your ROM experience. Uh, other than that, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think as well. Be sure to leave a comment and hopefully you are experiencing Jelly Bean just like I am right now and having a very good experience along with me. Be sure to subscribe to me, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.